Today we're gonna take a look at some awesome Blender tutorials. They range from animation, modeling, VFX, and of course, geometry nodes. PolyViewWord uploaded the video tutorial about how to create a realistic low-poly robot with some magenta colors. If this sounds a bit random to you, that's because probably it is. You can watch how PolyViewWord creates this diamond robot from scratch in real time from start to finish. Throughout this 40-minute tutorial, you're gonna first model the robot, rig it, animate it, give it some materials, and finally render the final animation while picking up a lot of tips and tricks along the way. It's always both very enjoyable and helpful to see one of the decoded short animation breakdowns as you are not only getting inspired to work on your projects, but also understand more how people do it. And today is not different. He uploaded a video on how to create this animation in Blender, and he will touch upon a couple of topics such as character animation, car animation, environment building, and a lot more useful tips and tricks on how to create similar animations, and also some of the problems that you might face and how to overcome them. Ducky3D has been pumping geometry nodes tutorials lately, and this one in particular is really useful. It is all about how to make a satisfying wavy animation using geometry nodes. This type of animation is really great, especially in creating motion graphics backdrops. You will create the whole thing as we said through geometry nodes and controlling the waves using displacement modifier. You will finish by setting up the camera and learning how to randomly shade different parts of the geometry. Zach from CG Boost uploaded a video on how to retopologize your model in Blender, in addition to things he wished he knew when he started to learn retopology in Blender. Using only free tools that are shipped with Blender, Zach will walk through the process of retopologizing your mesh using default Blender add-ons such as B-Surface, F2, and Loop Tool. Throughout the video, you will learn how to use each tool in addition to different concepts such as snapping, using the shrink wrap modifier, and smoothing geometry. In this tutorial, Light Architect on YouTube will show you how to create meteors in Blender from scratch, complete with all the smoke and fire simulations using the Blender's Mentaflow, particle effects, and few compositing techniques, in addition to shading utilizing the add-on called Chaos and its fire shader, but you can follow along with the tutorial even if you don't have the add-on. This one is from Peter France. It is a year old tutorial, but it is extremely useful if you want to learn VFX in Blender. In this tutorial, he will attempt to save his friend from a zombie infection by severing his arm. Using VFX techniques and Blender, you will first 3D scan the arm and the filling set. You will also clean up the scan and fix the textures. After that, you will rig the arm and add physics. And at the end, you will composite everything in After Effects. Peter Francis' YouTube channel is a great resource if you want to learn more about VFX and Blender. Kaizen Tutorials on YouTube uploaded a tutorial on how to create a fully interactive day and night cycle world shader in Blender, which is perfect for environment or time-lapse effects. The tutorial revolves around taking advantage of the sky texture in Blender and the sun position add-on. To enhance the night sky, you will be adding stars and animating them so that at the end you will have a day and night shader and you can transition between them smoothly with the animation of the sun. Halifax Learn uploaded a 17-minute tutorial on how to create this advanced procedural hologram effect in Blender using geometry nodes and shaders. The hologram technology has been always a staple of futuristic stories and science fiction, so this one is gonna be interesting. First, you're gonna start by creating light beams and give them some materials, and also simulate the effect of the camera shutter interfering with the hologram, similar to when you film a CTR screen. Next, you will create a transparent shader for your hologram object and link the animation to drivers. By the end, you should have a hologram preset that you can use on anything on your next project. Another tutorial from Halifax is Digital Timer in Blender using EV and Geometry nodes in Blender 3.1. And we like to mention that the Blender version with these Geometry node tutorials because geometry nodes are constantly changing, with every new update presenting new nodes and shifting or renaming old ones. The timer you will be creating in this video will be able to freeze the count up from whatever time you set. You will start first by creating inputs for your hours, minutes, and seconds, and then you will convert those inputs to strings so you can later convert them to mesh. There is a lot of math involved with this tutorial, but everything will be explained really well, and by the end, 
you should have a working clock. However, the next step will be how to convert the clock from digital to analog. Another tutorial from Kaizen is how to bake textures in cycles to use it in Unreal or Unity. The procedural texturing workflow gives a lot of flexibility when you need to adjust the texture. Later on, however, the baking approach also has its pros. For example, it is really light on the CPU, it can be easily imported to EV, and it can be used with other engines such as Unity and Unreal. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set your bake to export the diffuse color, roughness, normals, and a workaround to bake the displacement map. At the end, you will see how you can easily import all your maps into Eevee and apply displacement to your mesh. We've all seen those mind-bending infinite animations that flow seamlessly from one frame to the other. Blender Daily created this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a recursive zoom animation with geometry nodes in Blender. And for an effect like this, you would think it is extremely complicated, but the setup is surprisingly simple and easy to replicate. So if you are interested in learning this effect, I'm sure you will find this very useful. If you are interested in one of these tutorials, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.